A little bit over a week ago, I uploaded the first episode of my Leader's Observation Hockey series in which I talked about what a Blackbeard Leader could potentially look like. In today's video, I'm going to be going over Tony Tony Chopper. Yes, our lovable, not mascot, of the Straw Hat Pirates. Today we'll be going over what his ability would be, what some of the cards in the deck would look like, and more importantly, I'm curious about what your guys' thoughts are ultimately going to be on this leader. Is this leader overpowered, underpowered, or just right? Right. let me know in the comment section below and also let me know what leader you guys would like to see next there are a lot of amazing suggestions in the comments that i'm definitely going to be taking be it gecko moria and boa hancock i'll also be giving shout outs to those that have recommended those leaders in those videos so stay tuned for gecko moria and boa hancock on the horizon but definitely continue to leave your comments down below because i will be choosing characters from you guys for what you guys want to see next but without further ado Let's go ahead and talk about Tony Tony Chopper. So I have a super interesting take on what a Tony Tony Chopper could potentially look like, and it focuses on his Rumble Ball. So let's go ahead and talk about the stats of the card first. So it's going to be Wisdom, 1000 Power, 4 Life, Red Green Leader. So I know, I know we have a ton of Red Green Leaders already, be it Red Green Luffy, Red Green Law, the list goes on. Actually, I'm not too sure if there's another Red Green Leader, but there is now in Tony Tony Chopper, who's Animal and Straw Hat as well. And I felt like it was a very easy choice considering that red has straw hats and green already has straw hats and has straw hat support in both and so i just felt like it was very easy to just go ahead and slot in tiny tiny chopper right there now in terms of chopper's ability at the start of the game activate the stage rumble ball interesting we'll talk about rumble ball in a little bit if you have more than one rumble ball counter on rumble ball this leader's power is five thousand. so you start the game, we'll talk about Rumble Ball a little bit, but Tony Tony Chopper will basically be a 5,000 power leader, but when Chopper runs out of Rumble Balls, he goes down to 1,000 power, meaning on defense and on offense, you are going to get cooked. So, with that being said, Rumble Ball definitely has to be good, right, in order for a leader to be this weak? Well, let's go ahead and go over Rumble Ball now. Okay, now I know the text is a little bit small, so don't worry, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in for you here. Now, of course, obviously, how is Rumble Ball a stage? I know, I know, I get it, it's kind of weird, but with that being said, what does Rumble Ball do? This stage cannot be destroyed by card effects because obviously Rumble Ball is going to be so key to the game plan of Chopper. We don't want things like Sky Slicer or whatever that card in black is called where it can just get rid of the stage, right? Or else the whole leader is pointless. So it cannot be KO'd by card effects. Remember, you could play this as soon as the game starts due to your leader's ability. On play, you have three Rumble counters on this card. So what does Rumble Ball do? You can rest this card and remove one Rumble Ball counter to activate one of the following three effects. One, your leader gets 3,000 power. Two, you can grant one of your 2020 Chopper character cards rush this turn. Or three, trash one card from your opponent's hand. These are basically supposed to emulate the various points that chopper can activate right whether it's arm point and powering up whether it's him utilizing his brain point and using scope and identifying something in your opponent's hand and taking a card out right the increase in power being at arm point getting super strong and then of course being able to have rush being speed or agility point so that's the idea behind the rumble ball right being able to pick and choose when exactly you want to take the rumble ball and enhance your leader or any of your chopper character cards now let's take a look at this 5 cost 6,000 power Tony Tony Chopper. On play, you can rest one Dawn and KO all blockers on your opponent's side of the field that have a power of 4,000 or less. This can open up your opponent's defenses and then utilizing your Rumble Ball, you can grant this Tony Tony Chopper rush and then be able to attack with this putting on insane pressure on your opponent. Of course, you have to utilize one of your Rumble Balls in order to use this type of combo so it's very powerful. But then again, remember, once you get down to zero Rumble Balls, then your Tony Tony Chopper is effectively useless and you're going to lose the game. So this is an example of a card that I could see being used so that way you can utilize Rumble Ball. Of of course there'll be other Tony Tony choppers printed as well but I know you guys are probably wondering okay what about his most powerful point right what about monster points well <laughs> let's go ahead and break down what I think monster point could potentially look like I know I know guys what you see on the screen right now 10 cost 12k power 
chopper. When you read it, when you hear the words that I'm saying, you're going to be like, Ryan, how biased are you? What is this card? There's no way that this card would ever exist. But just hear me out and just wait till you get to the end. So on play, if your leader is chopper, KO all characters other than this and give your Rumble Ball stage one counter and grant one Tony Tony chopper card double attack, meaning you can grant this one double attack or your leader. Now, of course, the way that I was thinking about this is pre-time skip, Chopper enters monster point, friend or foe, he's swinging at you. Nobody's safe, so everybody gets destroyed. Of course, he has access to double attack. You're getting an additional rumble counter on board as well. And so now you can go ahead and give this 2020 Chopper rush. So it's a 12k unit with rush and double attack. I know, it sounds absolutely absurd. So powerful, it can't get any worse, right? Or can it get better? Well, once per turn, you may not rest your Rumble Ball when using this ability, or you when using its ability. So, Rumble Ball, if you guys remember, you have to rest it as well as remove one Rumble Ball counter. So now you can effectively use Rumble Ball twice, meaning that you can pump up your leader by 3k. Then, after you attack with your leader, you can go ahead and grant your 2020 Chopper Rush, the character card, the 12k one, and now you have a Rush Double Attacker. So yes, it can be extremely deadly. And of course you'd want to do it in that order because if you do it in the opposite way, well then by the time you pump up by 3K, your leader is only going to be 4K because when you have no rumble balls, your leader's power drops down to 1K. So that's going to be important. Of course you can decide, okay, do I want to drop a card out of my opponent's hand instead, right? Give them one less card for defense. There's a lot of different things you could do with the Rumble Balls because at that point, you could either have one Rumble Ball or you could have two depending on the situation. If you play it when you have one and you get one additional or if you play it when you have zero, you get that one and then maybe you just want to give it Rush. It'll just come down to how that game is going. Now, of course, this is extremely powerful. So what's the downside? Well, at the end of your turn, you lose all Rumble Ball counters on your field. Discard all cards from your hand and skip your next turn. So basically, if you use this card and you can, and if you don't win, if it's over, at that point, you can't end the game. When the turn passes back to your opponent, not only do they get an additional turn, but your leader is effectively 1,000 power because you have no rubble balls on, on board anymore because your Tony Tony Chopper character card eliminated all of them. So your leader is perpetually 1,000 power and your opponent gets two swings. Of course, they might not have any characters on board, but they're guaranteed to get two swings in. And in addition to that, you have no cards in your hand, so you have to take the hits. We all know that once Chopper's after Monster Point, he's basically useless, pre-time skip at least. So... With all of that being said, this is absolute feast or famine. It's absolute do or die. You have to win that turn. If by somehow you are able to make it out alive on the next turn, well, then you'll have one card in your hand and you'll have a 12k body on board. And that is Tony Tony Chopper. So I know it seems absolutely broken, but again, that's the whole point of this series. Of course, the balancing is not going to be perfect. The numbers are would probably be completely off, but at the end of the day, this is all for fun, and it's mainly the concept. It's the idea of what a Tony Tony Chopper leader would look like. What do you guys think? Is this overpowered? Is it underpowered? Or is it just right? I can't wait to see your comments down below. And again, let me know what leaders you guys would like to see next. I have a blast coming up with these because there's just so much creativity and free-flowing ideas that you could have. Of course, these cards don't exist. I don't have to worry about balancing the game. It's just a lot of fun to just use your headcanon. With that being said, guys, love you all. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.